And they admit that, you know, Walmart employees are told if a parent grabs their kid and speaks to them loudly that that's a crime, that your kid has to be taken. I got the CPS manual given to my employee saying if you raise your voice, we're going to take your child, official state manual. I mean, you know, talk about police state. Raise your voice now, we take your kid. But the cops can shoot you in the back and taser you, and it's no big deal. See how the state can have all this authority, but parents can't have any. And then society breaks down, which then means there needs to be more federal control. It's the only strong man. And so under the National Ad Council, elementary schools, public schools, uh, Head Start, which they advertise for blue collar, white collar. Oh, it's free health care. You know, we have a mobile van that helps your kids. You know, uh, even if you're paying at the daycare, you know, they still bring Head Start in without asking you. And CPS is there. And under Head Start now, you get three CPS visits a year. Well, here's what the kids get. They get a little little badge to feel like they're a little Stasi tattletale with McGruff the crime dog. This is the Cashless Society cybersecurity system. Here's McGruff's Safe Kids Total ID system, and they give this to public school kids under another program here in Austin where they give you $200 if you turn in your parents. That's the highest bonus if you write a report on what's in the medicine cabinet or are they smoking marijuana. And then I have a mainstream news article today where the judges are saying, we'll let you off for that marijuana if you sterilize yourself. We got a free sterilization for you. I have that article right here. So one of the fellows here in our office, we're going to not say his name, a McGruff Safe Kids Total ID System. And, and right here is the little scan disk for your child's history. They have social workers that ask them questions under this. Are mommy and daddy spanking you? Are they yelling at you? Because we've got a nice foster home, especially if you're blonde-haired and blue-eyed like this little girl. She better be careful because they can get half a mil for them. So, uh, and, and, and people can't believe this is happening. I had a senator on a few weeks ago from Georgia where if she was naming names of where there are bounties. We need this many blonde hair, blue eyes this week. And they got Walmart employees, everybody watching. You yell at your kid, boom, police are there. Take them. They're gone. They get half a mil. Walmart gets a few grand out of it. And I showed you USA Today where Walmart and pizza places and everybody run your criminal background when you pay with a credit card. And you wonder why cops pull you over when you leave the parking lot. They've got the whole grid in place yes it's already in place so take a bite out of crime uh, how to tattle on your parents here's the dna collection kit they, they fear monger the parents give us your dna we don't want kidnappers to grab your kids unless you're dying core in halliburton who admittedly run giant child kidnapping rings and congress brings it up and they go yeah we run kidnapping rings you know we had to pay a fine it's no big deal so now, of course, they don't tell the parents, by the way, we already took your kid's blood at birth. We just want other tissue samples out of their mouth uh, right now because uh, we want you to think that we got their DNA this way. That's why all over the country, Tennessee, Texas, you name it, uh, California, they have thumb scanners and, and hand scanners in the car. And when they pull you over for a traffic ticket or a checkpoint, they say, we need to run your, your, your scan here at the checkpoint. And people go, there's even YouTube videos, this where they go, Hey, I got a camera. What do you mean you want to take my fingerprints? We got to make sure you're not wanted and this isn't a fake ID. Guilty until proven innocent. Now, what did they do to this little girl? We've got her name and her little slave card. And this is what happens when you're, when you're in, 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 in preschool now. McGruff Safe Kids Total ID System. Help take a bite out of crime. Hey, McGruff, how about you stop the CIA shipping in heroin and cocaine and running child kidnapping rings? And it's a little girl. She's got blonde hair and blue eyes. Oh, you can see that in her old slave card. CPS is slipping through this right now looking for any reason. I'm sorry to have to inform everybody. And look, biometrics. They had her scan. This was inkless. And they put her digital image of her little fingers. They've now got them all. And she'll be trained in public schools nationwide. Over half of them now make you thumbprint to buy and sell. Austin. Um, make sure you use thumbprints to get your food, to get your school books. You have to do it. Europe's implemented the same system. Australia, total slave. But don't worry, everybody's a slave now. Okay? So this is all kept by the feds and uh, by McGruff, the child kidnapping dog. He goes out and sniffs out the blonde-haired, blue-eyed kids. It looks like he found one. And, of course, they want the dental chart. They need to know everything when they're trafficking your kids.
Now, again, the average idiot cops that are there taking this information, they think they're doing good and helping. But as the founding fathers said, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. So there's your little biometric ID card, slave card. has nothing to do with keeping your kids safe. Everything to do with enslaving them. That's why they've been lying for 36 years and telling you the blood was for the health department and a health test and sending it off to a federal depository uh, at the Eugenics Bank at Cold Springs Harbor. Now, mainstream news. So that's the incredible thing. We're on record about everything 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 years ago. In fact, I've been trying to dig around and find myself 15 years ago in front of the county commissioners and city council. A year plus before I got on air, I was going down and talking about this to the city council. And they wouldn't give me citizens communications time or they'd cut me short. So I went to an access TV show. We ought to find those 15 year old, let me see, 1993, 94, right out of high school. We ought to find those and put those up on YouTube. Okay, this is part two. I may go into part three and four on this because just covering that took so much time. And this is the tip of the iceberg. In fact, I, I cleaned the studio the other day. It's in one of those folders. See if Duke can find the CPS folder that had all the stuff in it uh, from her case with the little booklet from the state that says, if you raise your voice, we will take your children. Now, there's no law that raising your voice is. They don't care. These are child molestation rings. And I don't care if you can't handle that. Last week, I played congressional hearings where they admit they run child kidnapping rings. In fact, Google Google 3,000 children missing in CPS custody in Florida. 3,000 3, children in, in, in government custody missing in Florida. CNN. Show them right now. And they find them in Saudi Arabia and Thailand and Israel. They find them in Eastern Europe. They find them in snuff films. They blow their heads off. They enslave them. Show them. 3,000 children Now, that's just a missing children's. Try uh, try CPS lost. They have a different name in Florida. It's like Family Services. Family Services loses 3,000 children in Florida. It'll be 2004. I, I mean, you can't make up the magnitude of their evil. 